Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, elephants and squirrels, yo, welcome to this Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution gameplay. I'm pretty sure by now you've already noticed I'm not Sam. It's me, DJ Raviesta, and also known as Raven. And I'm just gonna go through some stuff here on my own profile, just to, you know, have some fun. So, uh, Sam is out for a little bit. Life is happening to him, so... Um, before you go, throw some likes on this video for him. I'm sure he'd appreciate it when he gets to see it. And with that said, subscribe for more if you like Yu-Gi-Oh! content, because we're going to be doing this series for a while. <laughs> so I'm sure you're going to enjoy that. So first thing I want to do is check out the deck that I'm going to use today. So I'm going to go into a ranked battle, like I said. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but if I didn't, I'm doing a ranked battle. So I'm going to go into the deck real quick. And what I'm going to be using is a deck I call Weather Report, which is essentially Mech Knights with the Weather Painters. With a few Kaiju sprinkled in there and Haman. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to quickly run down why this deck is set up like this. Alright, so we got our Kaijus, right? Main reason for the Kaijus, honestly, I'm missing like one. Um, cause this is ba this deck is actually based off of my real life deck, and it's only off by maybe one or two cards. But like I was saying, back to the kaiju. The reason I have those in there is a simple way to get rid of monsters that, for example, can't be gotten rid of when they have effects like cannot be destroyed, cannot be targeted, stuff like that. I can easily tribute those monsters, give them a kaiju, and if I have another one in hand, I can special summon that kaiju to my side of the field. So, a win-win in most cases. Next, we got Haman here. Main reason is because I have a lot of continuous spell cards here. So, usually my spell and trap card zone are filled to the brim with spells and traps. Um, and as you can see, I have more continuous spells than I do continuous traps here. So, definitely good fodder for Haman. Now, the Mech Knights. Because I have spells and traps so heavily used in the deck, I can make sure that I can, pardon me, I can make sure to place my cards wherever I need them to be and still guarantee, for the most part, uh, that my opponent will have something in that same column. Because the Mech Knight effects are, as you can read right here, if two or more cards are in the same column, you can special summon this card. So if they have a monster and I put a spell or trap in that same column, I can special summon a mech knight to that column. Very helpful, and it also helps with the times where my weather painters aren't on the field. And even if they are on the field, they don't have any spammy uh, special summoning effects, so they don't flood the field very well. Mech knights, on the other hand, do, so I'm able to utilize them if I'm in a little bit of a lull when it comes to my weather painters. Now, we've got Metaltron. 12, the true Dracombatant. Reason I have him in here is because his special, not pardon me, his normal summoning condition is you contribute, you, it requires three tributes to normal summon it. And you contribute a continuous spell, trap, or monster that you um, have on the field. So you can do any combination of those three types of cards three monsters, three spells, three traps, a monster, a spell, and a trap. And speaking of which, that's the main thing I do. I do a monster, a spell, and a trap. Now the reason I do that is because depending on what cards you use to tribute, um, for tribute summon this card, it's unaffected by that card type's effects. So if I tribute a whole bunch of traps, just three traps, a Metaltron is unaffected by trap cards. Spells, unaffected by spells, monsters, same thing. So I'm, I'm pretty sure you've come to the conclusion why exactly I use all three types, monsters, spells, and traps. And so it can be completely unaffected, and the only thing that they would need to do is get a monster that can beat it down. And yeah, that's pretty much the deck. We've got our Weather Painters here. Snow for searching out cards. Uh, the other ones for doing more stuff. Celestial Transformation if I need to special summon a fairy. Uh, speaking of which, all the Weather Painter cards are... Weather Painter monsters are fairies. Interrupted Kaiju Slumber if I need to do a quick reset of the field. And yeah, that's pretty much the main deck. So the extra deck, I, um, these three here, these 
three super heavy um super heavy samurai monsters are to be used in conjunction with Metaltron. So if we scroll down here, you can take a look at the effect saying, if this tribute summoned monster is in the in its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card by battle or card effect, you can special summon one fusion, synchro, or XYZ monster that is earth, water, fire, or wind from your extra deck. So, these two are earth, so it falls in line with the effect. Now, it's a simple special summon. I'm mostly going to go for uh, Steam Train King because 14800 defense. Not many monsters are above 4800 naturally, and it can attack from defense position. Useful. All right, so we've got, uh, what's her name? Ib, the World Chalice Priestess. I kind of forgot why I put this card in the deck anyway. It's just kind of there. <laughs> I mean, I have it in my real life deck, and I think the reason I had it there was because, like, oh, it's a Link Monster. I can use it. I get more than two monsters on the field at any given time. I can just throw it in there. But I don't think it synergizes too well. It, Like I said, it's just there. So Mech Knight Morning Star mainly used to keep my mech knights alive when necessary and help out with just having something to use all right now mech knight spectrum supreme he is the boy that i bring to the field when possible because most times i can get my mech knights onto the field and be able to special summon him so bring him to the field if there's nothing in his column i can attack directly i can send cards i control from um from from that are in its column to special summon one mech knight monster from my deck in defense position helpful get more mech knights on the field now weather painter rainbow actually pretty underutilized in my deck but can be useful so i'm going to read the effect for you when your opponent would special summon a monster or monsters quick effect you can send this linked summoned card to the graveyard negate the summon and if you do destroy that monster or monsters. Once per turn, during the standby phase of the turn after this card was banished from the field to activate the weather cards, a the weather cards effect, you can special summon this banished card. The weather effect monsters this card points to gain the following effect. When a card or effect is activated, quick effect, you can banish this card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. So, one thing I forgot to mention about the Weather Painters is they gain more effects from their spell and trap cards. So the canvas cards give effects to the monsters in the monster zones. And the way they work is, for example, let's take Snowy Canvas, right? If I place this in the middle column of my field in the spell and trap card zone, it affects the, the zone in front of it, the monster zone in front of it, the monster zone to the left of that one, and, to the, mo and the monster zone to the right of the middle one. So those three zones are affected. Same thing goes for the traps as well. All right, so I think that's enough for now. I explained my deck as best I can. It's, it was kind of a quick and dirty <laughs> explanation, but let's get right into a ranked match and see how I do. So another thing I like to do when I play this deck is I like to start second, primarily because I have those mech knights there. If, uh, depending on what my opponent does, alright, perfect, I get to go second. Depending on what my opponent sets, um, activates normal summons, special summons, I have more opportunities to special summon a mech knight. So I've got two in hand, I've got one spell, There, this might bode well for me. Well, at least when it comes to summoning. <laughs> Ooh, Necro World Banshee, I think I saw there. Yup. Alright. Zombies, fun. Okay, so another thing I didn't get to mention earlier is the Weather Painters, from my perspective, are more of a control style of deck. As I stated before, you can't really special summon hardcore with them, so it doesn't really have that aggro aspect to it. And there isn't too much stun, like there's no real negation of effects or anything like that. But I'm able to respond to what my opponent does 
with the um, with the different weather painter cards. So for example, they've got Zombie World on the field, right? I could use the weather uh, rainy canvas with uh, weather painter rain here, banish rain, remove Zombie World from the field. And I also have a few monster removal effects. I have effects that reduce attack, essentially making things the way I want them to be so that I'm able to keep my monsters on the field as well as keep my life points pretty high. Now this is going to be pretty difficult because we've got uh, Doom, King, Doom King on the field and I believe this thing can negate an effect I think at once per turn. Yeah, let me do a quick look over here. So once per turn when a zombie monster except blah, 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 activates its effect. A zombie monster except activates effect during the damage step you can apply one of these effects. Negate that effect, vanish from monster. Okay. That's that's gonna be rough. So what I think I'll do is I'm gonna try and bait him or her into negating this effect, because it can only be done once per turn. And I'll activate this as well. Alright, let's see. Um Okay, each player can only control one type of monster. Send all other face-up monsters they control to the grave. So if I were to get rid of Zombie World right now with anything on the field, there's a chance... Okay, so type refers to the green lettering right there. So if it's a psychic or fairy, for example. So I think I'm, I'll be safe. I, I think I'll be safe. So I'm going to try this out see what happens see if he negates it all right negation or banish I'm not sure all right so I'm not able to do that, but what I think I might be able to do is, well, let's see. All right, good. so that's currently a zombie. That's currently a zombie. So what I could potentially do is normal summon this just to get Link Karibo off the field, I suppose, but I'm not sure how I'll fare. Let's give it a try. So normal summon that. Not gonna do anything with it yet. Nothing yet. Yeah. So that's a fairy. I might be mixing up uh, type and attribute. That that's something I've always had a problem with at times. That's something I've had a problem with at times. So, um, well, let's see what happens. Use canvas and get rid of. Uh, this isn't looking the best, but it's whatever. Oh, is that a once per turn? Negate that effect, so we can do that. Oh, okay, so we can use both. Ooh, that's not boding well for me. Anyway, I guess we'll special summon. <laughs> And see what happens. Alright, so I'm just gonna attack his Link Karibo. Just to get it off the field. There you go. Alrighty. So, we are in a very disadvantageous state here, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm going to end my turn and hope for the best. But with that, with Doom King on the field, it's not looking good for me. One thing that really, that really uh, keeps this deck from moving is effects that negate. Like, if they're able to negate monster effects consistently, I can't get off any of my plays. And I have to hope for the best. So, for example, if I were to get Metaltron, right, then I'd be in a better st a better place because, one, I've got a 3,000 beater on the field, 
that is unaffected by card effects. Any card effect. So I'm going to just be patient, see what he wants to do. Alright, brings back Link Karibo. Then gets the effect of this one, add one level 5 or higher zombie. Oh, he's going to banish now. All right, so I'm going to chain. <laughs> Get this off the field before he can. And I think everything should be good. And I'll bring Indigo to hand. Banish one monster from the field to graveyard, so... What will he choose? Alright. Okay. More effects flying all over the place. Alright, so I've got to contend with that Doom King and whatever else he's probably going to bring to the field. Oh, another Doom King! Fun! Fun! So there isn't anything I can do right now. I just have to hope for the best for next turn. So he's going to hit me with 56, 59 right there. Ouch, my soul points. Alright, left with 21. <sighs> Alright, so I got a kaiju. It'll get rid of one of the Doom Kings. And I'll be getting Nightfall back. Special it right here. Well, not special it. Return it to the field. Standby phase. Not going to activate anything. Yeah, we're fighting an uphill battle here, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be rough. <laughs> this is going to be really rough. One type of monsters and all of... Yeah, okay. All right. This is this is pretty scary. Yeah, Cuz I can't do anything else. And if I try to use any effects, I'm going to get thwarted because he's just going to say negate or banish. But in the fact of my in in the case of my weather painters, all he has to do is just negate. Oh boy, oh boy. And I can't even special summon this. Man, this they have a good deck. They definitely have a good deck. Yeah. Wow. 
I think I might I might just be done here. I'm gonna attack just cause. And then have my life points drained because I can't do anything. <laughs> All right. Well, they activated another one. And um, either way, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to attack Link Karibo anyway. It's whatever. All right. Now he's going to banish my monster. So, that's not fun. So that's that's game, ladies and gents. That's game. I'm, I'm done. I'm dead. <laughs> Maybe we'll fare better in the next one. So I think I have time for one more ranked battle. Just see how that goes. Oh yeah, by the way, pardon me if you hear me sniffling. I'm kinda under the weather at the moment. Alright, so that was a knock to the face. Couldn't do much of anything in that one. Alright, so we're gonna go back into another rank battle, see what we can do. Hopefully win. If not, it's whatever. go second because that is the way to play this deck or at least that's my way of playing the deck oh no not thunder dragons oh gosh why <laughs> why Okay, this is going to be hard. I might have a better time with this one than I did the last one. Maybe. But it's still going to probably feel like an uphill battle. While I've played against maybe a few Thunder Dragon decks, I'm not always too sure what they're going to go for. So I'm just going to be patient, see what happens, and hope for the best when it comes to my effects. Alright, so, so I don't make any mistakes. Let's see what this thing does. A lot of things are happening. This card will be destroyed. Blah, blah, blah. You can banish one instead. Okay. All right. So I don't. That's not too much of a problem. It's not the worst thing in the world. All right. Now we've got cards that will help me out. All right. So what I think I'll do is I'm gonna set this here so I can special summon Nightfall all right honestly what would have been a better play is to activate that instead of setting that because I'm gonna try and get this onto the field but face up in the next few minutes all right so I'm gonna special summon this 
Special summon Cloud. If I'm allowed to, alright. Special Cloud. So I'm still gonna have a normal summon. Activate this. He's got something over there. I'm frightened, everyone. I am frightened. They're taking a while. They're thinking about it. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Hmm. -hmm. All right. Nothing. Cool. All right. So hold up. Hold up. Something's going on here. All right. So. Special summon. Effe Why am I unable to use that effect? That's very strange. Let me check. Sort of summon one fairy. But have its attack. So that's strange. Okay. That's very strange. I thought I'd be able to use its effect. But I guess not. Oh well. Yeah, that's really weird. Because I don't think that negates it in any kind of way, unless... Unless, for example... There was something else that happened. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna look at this again. Must be either fusion summoned or special summon, blah, blah, blah. By attributing one thunder effect, non-fusion monster, blah, blah, blah. Cards cannot be added from the main deck to your... Okay! Okay, that's exactly why. Alright, so I didn't read that entirely so I'm kind of out of luck with that one so I'm gonna try my best here Actually, I'm gonna normal summon this cuz yeah just to have it on the field then enter battle phase if they allow it So yeah, reading card effects, that's a thing. Keep it in mind, everyone. All right, so it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect if they banish one Thunder Monster from the grave. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attack so that they banish something. That way that reduces their resources a little bit. Hold on, let's see. Cards cannot be added from the main deck to your opponent's hand. Okay. Yeah, I was just uh, reading that again to see if it just said cards in general can't be added to the hand. Because um, I, I want to be able to use this to send that back next turn. So if I can't do that, that would be kind of sucky. But that's what else. So I'm going to end... Cloud's going to get destroyed for no reason. I was thinking of going into Morning Star, but I'm going to just not do that. Because I want to keep this on the field so I can use its effect. Yeah, I want to keep Purple Nightfall on the field. So what I'm hoping my opponent does here is not really get anything else onto the field, which I highly doubt they're not going to try and do, but what I want them to at least do with one of their big monsters is attack uh, Sun, 
after I activate Thundery Canvas. So what I think I'll do is, in response to this summon, I'm just going to activate Thundery Canvas just in case. Then what I'll do so that they I force them to attack it is banish Nightfall. Now I'll activate Canvas, but he's probably gonna now that he's seen me activate Canvas, he's probably gonna try and use some Thunder Dragon effects to destroy it. So I may have just screwed myself. But hey, live and learn, right? There we go. So it all depends on what he's going to do next. So what does he choose to destroy? Probably canvas. Oh! Okay. Alright. Alright. I could have... Yeah, he's got more effects, so he doesn't actually care. So what is it going to try and destroy? Ooh, that sucks. So now I'm considering, do I want to keep this on the field for next turn and banish it now? Or take only 700 to the face instead of a fat 32? Okay, yeah, he's he's gonna try and kill uh, Nightfall. So I'm gonna just banish. <sighs> Honestly, I think I would have been pretty pretty screwed. Oh, now that sucks. That sucks. Okay, you've got everything covered, don't you? Perfection, perfection. So I'm going to be top decking with an empty field, essentially. And a 3200 beat stick on the field as well. That's... Oh, this isn't the best. We're in some dire straits here, ladies and gents. And yeah, I'm screwed. I'll set that. Haha. -ha. You'll never see my master plan. When in doubt, bluff them. Bluff them hard. Alright, 1,600 life points left. What are we going to get? So what I'm going to hope for is at least one weather painter, preferably snow, so I can get something else out on the field. But, yeah, this isn't looking too good right now. Because another thing is, I'm not exactly sure what that is right there, that one set card. So, 
if if that's something that can stop me from utilizing Thundery Canvas, I am I'm up a certain creek without a paddle. Just saying. Fun. Another Titan. And there we go. So right now I'm going to have to hope for snow. Before, I could have had any weather painter and be able to utilize uh, Thundery Canvas, but without it on the field, I'm going to need snow so I can pull out at least another one. And we lose. <laughs> oh, well. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to delay the inevitable. I'm just going to surrender right now. Because we just... We, we, we're done. We're done here. Well, that'll end it for this episode today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed me at least attempting to win. And hey, if you got any ideas for how I could refine my deck, make it better, make it a little bit more uh, efficient, yo, leave me a comment below. Let me know. I want to I get better. It's my goal. And if you like this video, drop a like. We'd really, we'd really appreciate it. I'm sure Sam would as well. And if you didn't like it, throw a dislike down there. But hey, if you want more content like this, guys and guys and gals, please subscribe to our channel. We've got more coming for you. We're doing at least two uploads a week. This uh, this series here usually comes out, out comes out every Wednesday. So keep an eye out, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date. But yo guys, that's going to end it for me. Thanks for joining me again, and I will catch you later. Peace.